Hey Virgo, welcome to your March Tarot reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check out your other placements for additional messages as this is a general reading. Messages may or may not apply. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't for the next person. I can be picking up on somebody around you or somebody you could be dealing with, so you might have to swap the roles. And if this reading doesn't resonate right away, it may be something that happens down the line. If you'd like, keep it in your back pocket or you can come back at a later time. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you guys for the month of March. See what you could currently be going through, what you can expect for the upcoming month. We will get advice as well as look into your expected timelines, all right? And just so you guys know, I will be leaving next week to go to Australia for a month, so uploads are probably going to be less frequent, just a heads up. I will try my best to do some weekly readings if I can, of course. With that being said, let's see what messages can come through for you guys for March. See what you can expect, what you may need some insight on, or messages on. And yeah, okay, so messages please for Virgo, Sun Rising Venus for March 2020. What does Virgo need to know or need insight on? Messages please for Virgo. Okay, the deck's ready. <laughs> That's pretty fast. Okay, messages please for Virgo. So, ooh, four in the, four, four in the reverse, four of cups in the reverse. Okay, the queen of pentacles. Okay, so you're in your element, high priestess. Give me one more for Virgo, please, for March 2020. Empress, try to come out. There it is. There. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, walking away from your burdens to a much more peaceful place, all right? Dropping some burdens, dropping some baggage, all right? We'll get to that afterwards, though, but you're walking away from that shit, okay? So... <clears throat> excuse me so we have the four of cups in the reverse here which is kind of telling me that you see an opportunity but you're just not interested so say maybe somebody's offering you an opportunity or extending some type of I don't know, extending something to you I don't know where my words are guys mercury retrograde has me a little bit fucked up I'm not gonna lie some type of exchange that you're just not interested in you see it is right there but you know you're not feeling it or you got a bad vibe from it or you something just feels off doesn't sit right with you pay attention to it okay we do have the high priestess out here you could be doing with pisces but it's just like your intuition is spot on so pay attention to it pay attention to the signs because if there's someone around you who you know is extending some type of offer but it seems off or something seems fishy about it probably right so pay attention to your gut pay attention to your intuition and know that you know it's not the only opportunity coming in your way whether that is a friendship whether that's love whether that's whatever it might be okay it's not going to be the only opportunity out there so just remember that don't guilt trip yourself just saying but definitely listen to your intuition trust your gut if you get a bad vibe from someone or you just something feels off listen to it don't force yourself in this opportunity or into this situation trust your gut ignore it because you may dodge a bullet okay i'm just saying <laughs> not like literally well maybe i don't fucking know your situation i don't know who you hang around with i'm just kidding all right um we have the queen of pentacles here you guys coming through well this is capricorn but this can also be of course virgo as well as taurus so you may have one of those in your chart but again just being very grounded very stable and just really hard working okay like you're very skilled very hard working you stay determined and you believe in yourself okay you are very prosperous and you succeed in what you set your mind to okay you put the effort in you see that it pays off and it's just so rewarding you know like whatever you work for or whatever you do for a living or you know for your finances so much growth you have so much potential whatever you set your mind to just know it's going to work out in your favor i promise like you stay consistent you keep putting in the work you're on top you're taking care of business businesswoman businessman you're going to see the results come in because because the Empress is about seeing your manifestations start to come into the 3D. Because, you know, it starts off as a thought, but then as you see time goes on, it slowly starts to develop over time. You're starting to see your fruits come in, right? She's ready to pop her baby out. <laughs> Whether you're pregnant, actually, you're pregnant with ideas, okay? Like, ready to give birth to a whole amazing beginning, right whatever you choose oh my god my eye has been driving me nuts today you guys like it's just been watering it's like so irritated right now i'm so sorry like it's just really annoying so sorry it's just like burning right now <laughs> um 
so much potential, so much expansion, and also surround yourself in nature, okay? Spend some time out in nature, soak up the sun, spend somewhere near, you know, trees or a forest or even near water, right? That's really going to benefit you and ground you and just feel so connected. Um, then at the bottom of the deck, we had the Four of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. So you guys could be carrying on some bur bleh, baggage, burdens, heavy energy. Maybe you're having a lot on your plate. Maybe you've got a lot of things to take care of, a lot of things to do on your day-to-day. -day. Maybe you have too much on your plate. Maybe you've been taking on too much and maybe it's time to let some things go in order to take some time out for yourself to rest, right? We don't want to drain ourselves and this could easily lead to draining yourself emotionally, physically, spiritually, etc right like we don't want that so please be sure not to overwork yourself we don't want you to be drained okay like if you start to feel exhausted take a break take a day off take some time to rest take a nap eat something healthy rejuvenate yourself you know really take care of yourself make sure that you're putting yourself as the number one priority okay um some of you may have to walk away from something that is keeping you stuck or tied or anything that has been dragging you down or even just like people who are negative or just like keeps you stuck in stagnancy that has an effect on your success you know like if you surround yourself with low vibe people who are negative they talk shit all the time they don't have very much belief in themselves they set their standards low or they never shoot high they always just like settle you know they don't have any like desires or goals for their future they just oh well i'm gonna just stick with this forever and like i'm cool with that whereas you may have all these amazing dreams and you know things you want to achieve and so you surround yourself with people who don't really have that mindset and so that kind of prevents you from taking off right you don't want that surround yourself with people who have goals people who are excited about the future what they have going on with their lives you know you may need to leave behind people who don't really have much going on for themselves because if you surround yourself with people like that you kind of mm, like you kind of have you kind of like that affects you like, it really does whoever you surround yourself with has a huge effect on like where you are in your life and like I don't know it's always like they always say take a look at the people that are closest to you and what they're doing with their lives and that has a huge impact on like what you're doing with your life just saying okay so just keep that in your back pocket okay um but some of you definitely need to walk away from things that have been keeping you stagnant or have been like adding too much on your plate or just draining you or keeping you stuck right adding too much burdens onto you maybe there's people in your life that are you know treat you like your their therapist right they lay down all their issues on you expect you to be there for them but then like that's it and then you go back home and you feel drained and exhausted and you need to go back and sleep and recharge because this person just drained the hell out of you right you don't need to surround yourself with people like that so remember that know your worth and um let's just say if you take that advice and you walk away or you do what's best for you and you leave what does not resonate, whether that's a mindset, a place, a job, a situation, anything, right? Anything. Maybe even just watching shitty shows that keep you in that low vibe, right? Anything that has been keep, even like eating unhealthy or whatever you got to do. If you leave something behind that's been keeping you kind of stuck, then we go from the Ten of Wands to the Four of Wands, right? All because you walked away. So we drop six of these wands makes it so much lighter for you and then you end up in this balanced peaceful harmonized celebratory time maybe some of you are in a commitment or you may end up in a commitment right yeah i just think there's something that you no longer want to invest your time into anymore your energy you're tired you're exhausted something's been draining you you're listening to your gut you're listening to your intuition maybe you've grown apart from people or like you outgrown people situations people situations jobs whatever the fuck i don't know my words are not coming to me thanks mercury retrograde but it's just like you're not really interested anymore so you're trusting your uh, trusting your intuition just trust in the path yeah there's something better out there why settle when there's something better out there don't settle for trash settle for gold okay don't settle for fool's gold made in china plastic but like gold paint on the outside no 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 so let's go into this let's go get some insight get some more answers insight whatever i already fucking said that i'm like i'm like okay y'all what time is it oh my god and that's why i can't speak because it's getting a little late for readings but i'll pull through because pretty strong reading so let's get this done four of cups in reverse please for oh 
Page of Wands. Princess of Wands. Good news. Yeah. Something better else is out there. You know that. You can feel it in your gut. So why settle? Why waste your time? Why waste your energy? Keep that for yourself. Keep that close to your heart. And when there's something good that comes your way, give your whole soul to that, you know? Four cups, please. We have the ooh, Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, whatever you're not interested in anymore, there is definitely some type of ending. I feel like there's like definite ending over here. Oh, I'm, why did I get the... Y'all, I got the goosebumps out of nowhere. Like, I just got the chills. Okay, I ain't no Virgo either, so... But that's just so... I literally just got like chills from my head to toe. Like, oh, <laughs> somebody's cold to the bone or some shit like that. Universe stepped in, judgment at the bottom of the deck, okay? Maybe this was unexpected. Maybe there was someone around you who was up to no good or was just, like, taking advantage of you or trying to sabotage what you worked so hard for. It's just somebody was not trustworthy. You could have gotten some insight about that or even intuitively, like, downloads, channelings about this person or even dreams, right? Because, hang, hang, man, why does I want to say that? High Priestess. With the High Priestess out here, this Piscean energy. You could also be dealing with Taurus. It's just like your intuition has been spot on. So never doubt it. Never doubt your intuition, okay? Because it's normally always on points. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. It's like a muscle, okay? Um, uh, what was I going to say? I fucking lost my point. I was going to say something after that. I forgot, y'all. Um, but there's definitely someone around you who's trying to sabotage, trying to take something from you. It was up to no good. And um, could have left you feeling drained, exhausted, you know? <sighs> And you just had enough, right? And the good news is that even though you don't want them to take any more energy into this and whatever, right? Making the decision to just go their own separate ways. There's going to be good news about this. So it's all happened for a reason. This is actually divinely orchestrated. Ooh, look at that. The hermit. You guys coming through in your reading, okay? Virgo energy. This is divinely orchestrated. It's like the universe had a definite... Look at this. It's like this is like meant to be, okay? You don't even know it because you have your back turned towards this, but it's actually divinely orchestrated. Like, timing is everything, okay? T how it all played out, how it all has unfolded. And there we go. Let's go with the <coughs> King of Pentacles, excuse me. Okay, so you guys very grounded, very stable. Again, pair though. So even whoever this person is, whether this is romantic, friendship, someone you worked with, family, whatever, this is definitely like a soul tied connection like this is definitely like divinely orchestrated to like teach you some type of lesson or to trust your gut to learn how to um pay attention to your intuition to trust it right because maybe you've in the past you've doubted your intuition but it was right and you're like fuck i knew it from the beginning but i didn't listen like now you're starting to learn from it you know you're starting to pick it up you're starting to pick up the signs and, and so you're paying attention to it you're not you're not foolish anymore you're not gonna fall for that crap anymore and so it's like good news you passed the test almost kind of like if this was like divinely orchestrated this is almost like a little test they throw in the way and they're like are you gonna pass it or are you gonna fall back into the same pattern and get fucked over again and then be like fuck i knew from the beginning you know you are catching on to this you're catching on to the pattern you're catching on like hey i don't trust this my my gut's telling me this and i think I, i'm gonna take it this time because every other time i've doubted it it's always been right right so you're realizing you're starting to realize it and then you believe it right good news i already been saying this okay let's move on i've been talking so fucking much <laughs> oh my god I just want to make sure it like sticks in me. That's why I repeat myself because I want to make sure that like y'all get it. If it resonates, you will get it, right? Sticks with you. Cause sometimes it goes in one ear, out the other. I feel you. Okay, so let's go into the High Priestess and see like what your intuition is saying. Tell me the High Priestess, please, for Virgo. Don't know why, but I almost I heard Scorpio, which is weird because this is Pisces card. But okay, tell me the High Priestess, please, for Virgo. Try the High Priestess, please, for Virgo. High Priestess, please, for Virgo. Okay, we got a whole card coming out. High Priestess, double confirmation. The Four of Pentacles. And the Six. Oh, no, fuck. Oh, my God, my timer. Hold on, y'all. The Nine of Cups. I said Six of Cups. I meant Nine of Cups, okay? So, look at here. It's almost as if you're holding your intuition close to you you're very tight lips you don't let everybody know your little secrets your little skills your little powers you got because it's like you're trying to outsmart those around you you know you they think you don't know but you actually do but you're just you know playing it like you don't know and you're like oh yeah sure whatever but deep down you're like i know what you're up to 
I know what you're up to. I know what you're trying to do. You ain't slick, right? I know what you're trying to do. I see right through it. Yes, I may act like I don't know. Just to trick you, right? A little something up my sleeve. <laughs> you know? It's like you're very, like, you're very quiet or very mysterious. You're hard to read as well. Like, because the high priest is coming out twice. You may also have um, Pisces as your rising or your moon sign or somewhere in your chart. Just saying. Or you could be dealing with one. But I do feel like some of you definitely have, like, strong Piscean or water in your chart. There's that intuition coming from because water, very intuitive. I feel like a lot of you have like strong water placements because that's where that intuition comes from. Now, obviously, you don't have to, but I'm just saying. We do have quite a bit of water in this reading. I'm just saying, okay? But it's like you're holding it close to your heart. You're not letting many people know about this, right? If anything, you're keeping it on the quiet, on the down low. But you worked hard for this. This is like an accomplishment. You're very proud of this gift you're very proud of this skill but you're keeping it on the down low on the quiet you don't want many people to sabotage you know what you've worked so hard for so in a way even though we have the seven of swords this can talk about someone being sneaky right trying to take 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 right abuse misuse right but this can also be you planning carefully being careful with who knows about your plan possibly about you know your abundance this this idea this idea you're pregnant with, right? <laughs> trying to be slick, trying to make sure not many people know about what you're about to do, you know, making these moves. You don't want people to try and sabotage or ruin what you've worked so hard for, right? So therefore, you're trying to sneak and be, you know, creeping and like being careful not the, to like ruin it or like not letting people know what you're up to so that they can't like ruin it for you or like take that idea and like make it better or whatever you know you're keeping it quiet but you're it's like you're almost gonna like just drop the bomb and like you're gonna show what you work so hard for and like people are gonna be so shook they're like whoa Virgo where did that come from oh my god right kind of like that is what I'm getting from here and like it's gonna take off like whatever you're doing and if that resonates like oh this is gonna take off okay good news so there's many different ways but those are like the two main things that I'm seeing here so you holding it quiet for now and then you're gonna drop it and be like look at what I did or look at what I accomplished you know but you're keeping it close to your heart right now or very close and like quiet and mysterious people don't know what you're up to people would have no clue and then you drop it and then it'd be so shocked right but it's like a good thing also the eight of swords in the reverse the hierophant the king of cups in the reverse yeah you're not taking manipulation anymore nope so there's people in the past who have tried to like try to manipulate right try to plan because manipulation is planning Um, you're not letting that happen anymore. Not anymore, right? King of Cups in reverse. There could have been people around you trying to guilt trip you or make you feel sorry for them or like pull at your heartstrings. Not anymore. Not anymore. Because you know better than that, right? You've learned from it with the Hierophant. You're very wise. You're very skilled. You've experienced a lot. You've taken those experiences now because in the past maybe you doubted these experiences you didn't really learn from it or you didn't take that knowledge and apply it now you are now you are you've learned now you're on this new cycle this new lesson this new road right <laughs> my god and so you're freeing yourself from something you're freeing yourself from whatever has been holding you back like i've been saying right and there we go again with the four of, wow another four four cups and, there it is again double confirmation we have the four cups again the four wands again we just had that Let's see, where are we, where we go? Four of Wands, double confirmation. Four of Wands, Four of Wands. And then we had the Four of Cups and the Four of Cups, just saying, so double confirmation twice. So yeah, reaching a place of stability in your life and like not letting people try and ruin it for you. Keeping them at a distance if you have to. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is like acting up right now. Okay, so let's go into the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, shit, we're already at, like, 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> be talking a lot. Anyways, it's okay. Queen of Pentacles, please, for Virgo. March 2020. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles, please, for Virgo. Queen of Pentacles, please, for Virgo. Summon Rising Venus. The Emperor. Yep, taking charge, taking control. Overseeing a lot, like you oversee the whole, like you can see for miles and miles and miles. You see, it. you can spot bullshit from a mile away, like miles away, actually, not even a mile. But like you, you just oversee everything. <sighs> Let's see what else needs to come out. You could also be dealing with an Aries, just letting you know. The Star Aquarius, being your authentic self, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, you're doing a lot of resting. You've done a lot of healing. 
and you definitely have a lot of, yeah see again you walked away from something double confirmation we had the eight of cups you walked away from something we'll look underneath to see what you walked away from um <clears throat> but again i feel like a lot of you have like this idea for your career or your finances your abundance something about like your coin or sorts of income like it's so that's a great idea i don't know what your idea is but it's gonna succeed dude it's gonna succeed okay it's so much potential and you're kind of just sleeping on it you're thinking about it thinking about like things i could add or things i could do to even make it better bigger and better think bigger right think bigger go go big or go home right <laughs> i don't even know um but yeah seriously it's like whatever this idea is and it's like in the palm of your hands right you're looking at it you're inspecting it I'm like what else could i add how can i make this even bigger how can i you know expand this idea how can this be even better how can i outdo this how can i outdo this idea or like you know how can i make this even better right oh my god so good it's so good <laughs> oh my god, i'm sorry i'm like wow i'm getting excited for y'all okay oh my god i like fucking i love it okay <laughs> <laughs> all right oh my god i love it i don't know it's just like you guys th whatever this is fucking genius okay i don't know what i don't know what it is you don't have to share it down below especially if you're trying to keep it quiet but once this like takes off let me know share your work i don't care send me a link show me your work i'm always down to support y'all okay anyways because y'all support me so i'm gonna support you the fuck anyways i talk so much i get so excited anyways this is why my readings are fucking long oh my god <laughs> This is just you. You're being your authentic self. You're doing what inspires you. You're doing what is passionate. What uh, what you're passionate about. I can't even speak. And you're not going to water yourself down to please other people. You're like, no. You're not sorry about that. You're not sorry for being you. You're being your true authentic self. And people can take it or leave it. Right? You could give a fuck. <laughs> like, oh my god. It's like, I, could keep, I can give a flying fuck. That's what I heard. I was like, I don't care if people like it or hate it. I don't care if like, people like me or hate me. That's what I heard, right? Um, yeah, the bottom of the deck, yeah, so you walked away from something, we already talked about that, underneath that, the Prince of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, um, there could be someone trying to, wanting to give you an offer, but I don't think they would because they're in their head and look, death here, it's like something's already come to an end here, therefore you're like, they're not gonna waste their time, could be about a relationship or like an ex-partner maybe, the devil, ooh, yeah, probably an ex honestly there could be like an ex thinking about you or reminiscing but like you already walked away from them and they know that it's kind of pointless to try and return to you because you just turned them down or some shit like that like you've already moved on and like yeah whoever this person is could be a scorpio air sign or a sign or capricorn maybe this person's guilty over something they did in the past but like it's too late now because it's already ended so that's that that could be the person who maybe did this to you who maybe did this to you just saying okay it could be related to that person but it's just like you're not interested i think they know that too i think they get the vibe that you're like you're like nope i'm not interested bye you know so hmm okay and let's go into the empress oh my god i'm talking a lot okay empress please for virgo summer rising and venus for march 2020 turn about the empress please for virgo Okay, I'm making sure my decks are upside down. Tell me the Empress, please, for Virgo. Someone rising Venus. Moon in reverse. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. This is so awesome. This is so good. This is so good. So, it's like, I feel like the Empress is talking about you finally, like, letting something come to light. Possibly your work. Possibly this idea. Finally, like, putting it out there. Um, premiering. I don't even know. Like, just, like, finally your project is being put out into the world i swear this is almost like continuation of the last reading when because you guys were like the last reading was like very like artistic you guys were very skillful you have these gifts and finally it's like oh my god march is like something's coming out something's coming to light and it's like your guys are gonna go celebrate you're gonna be getting a lot of communication a lot of news and it's gonna be so good and look at here look at here we have the princess of swords out here there could be people watching, people seeing your work from afar. But you don't give a fuck. You're confident. You're going after your dreams. You believe in yourself. Look, the Six of Swords as well. You're moving towards your dreams. You're making money moves. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And look at here. You're resolving. 
the issues of taking on too much burden or too much stress. You're resolving that. You're dropping it. And you're finding a way to remove yourself from that type of stuff, right? And meanwhile, you're doing that and you're continuing to move forward. There's people that watch you. There's people that see that, you know, you succeeding and all that stuff. Especially with the moon in reverse, you know, your work coming to light, you posting your stuff, you sharing your work and putting yourself out there. Yes, there may be haters, but there's going to be people who love your work and who gives a fuck about the haters got to say, all right? Who cares about these little bitches, okay? They're salty because they couldn't do what you do. Just saying. And you need to go out and celebrate the work you've achieved. Like, bitch, congratulations. I don't know what you're doing, but congratulations. March looks so positive for you. So... Let's get some animal oracle cards. Oh my gosh, you guys. That was a good reading. A good ass reading. So, let's get some animal oracle cards for advice. And then we'll look into your expected timelines, okay? Alright, so. What advice do we have for Virgo, please? Someone rising Venus. Or extra messages, please, for Virgo for March 2020. Any advice or extra messages, please, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for March 2020? Any advice or extra messages, please, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for March 2020? Ooh! Blizzard trying to come out. Okay. All right. We'll keep you. We'll keep you. Any advice or extra messages, please, for Virgo? Let's do a couple more. Okay. <clears throat> Any advice or extra messages, please, for Virgo for March 2020? Any advice? Ooh, okay. Owl! Oh, yes! Oh my god, you guys. There's gonna be some good stuff coming your way. Oh my god. I'm so excited for y'all. Like, seriously? Any advice or extra messages, please, for Virgo? And the camel. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's the moon. There's that little moon out there. Trust your gut. Trust your intuition. All right. Let's get into this. You could be dealing with a fire sign, an air sign, or... Oh, we got more fire out there. Okay. Fire and air. So let's get into this. We have the lizard, owl, and camel. Instinctual, sensitive to the subtle, and a dreamer. The lizard is an expert in the realm of sensory and perception. As if it has a sixth sense, the lizard hears what is yet to be spoken and sees what is yet to manifest. Although this is an amazing gift, it can easily wear the lizard down. Big crowds, lots of travel, or overstimulation will drain the lizard of their magical essence. This card is an indication to pull back from the bright lights and big city and return to the inner artist who's been whispering your name. Hey, I think you guys had this card. Um, yeah, you guys had this card last time. You did have this in your last reading, your weekly reading, the last upload for you guys. So there we go. Double confirmation again. Artist. Okay, anyways. One in balance, artistic, telepathic, and spiritual. One out of balance, elusive, noncommittal, and flaky into bringing a balance of creative projects. See, you guys. You guys are so skilled. You guys are so talented. It's time to work on some projects so that you can put your shit out there and show the world what you're made of. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, then we have the owl, okay? The owl is such a good card. Oh my god. I'm so excited for Like, you guys. We have abundance, clairvoyant, and treasures. The owl is a mysterious and otherworldly creature found in folklore of east to west. The white owl in this particular deck is the companion of a goddess Lakshmi and represents wealth, beauty, and good fortune. When the owl card appears, it's an omen that a boon or treasure is on the way, either in spiritual or material form. With owl wisdom on your side, you will see and know exactly what to do with this boon, how it can further, your serve, further serve your dharma and bring abundance to the world. Trust that the wellspring of the treasure is infinity. When in balance, generous, trusting, and secure. When out of balance, many money quarrels and scarcity, and to bring into balance an offering. Ooh, see, there's going to be some, guys, abundance, success, like some type of gift is coming, whether that's spiritual or material or both, right? You guys, you got some good stuff coming your way. I'm so excited for y'all. Let me know. Give me an update. Let me know. So the camel, resourceful, independent, and knows oneself. The camel can handle absolutely anything as it carries a wealth of nourishment within. This wanderous creature is self-reliant and handles challenge with ease. Even in the face of excess heat, judgment, or anger, the camel searches inside for the cool X layer of water to calm the situation. The camel represents the ultimate form of bringing opposites into balance, fire and water, and being responsible for one's reactions. The camel is a wonderful traveler and especially fond of trips to faraway lands. Ooh, some of you going on a trip. Um, when in balance, calm, content, and sparkle in the eye. When out of balance, dehydrated and lacks vitality. And to bring into balance, a pilgrimage, okay? A little adventure, okay? Time to go and explore. 
Oh my god, he got so good. Uh, so good. So fucking awesome. Keep it up. That's all I gotta say. That's my advice. Keep it up. And believe in yourself. Right? Go after your dreams. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Alright, let's get let's go into your accepted timelines. Go after your dreams. Okay, there's a star. Go after your dreams and stay committed. Alright? Yes. What are the expected timelines, please, for Virgo? For March 2020. Based off the current energy, what can Virgo expect? Virgo, someone rising Venus. Based off the current energy, what can Virgo, someone rising Venus, expect in March 2020? Current timelines to accept the timelines, please, for Virgo. Expect timelines, please, for Virgo, someone rising and Venus. Let's go. Messages regarding, oop, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Five of Cups in the reverse, getting over past pains, past hurts, past traumas, healing, forgiving, learning, and picking yourself back up, finding that strength to keep going, to go after what you want, not let your emotions hold you back. Oh, I love that. All right, um, expect the timelines, please, for Virgo, someone rising Venus. Expect the timelines, thank you. Oh, King of Pentacles in the reverse. Hold on, y'all, my deck. Oh, it's not. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure I don't want to do you. Do you dirty. I can't even speak. <laughs> Set the timelines, please, for Virgo. The Fool. Five of Wands in the reverse. There's a lot of reverses out here. Just saying, but that's not bad. Three of Wands. Cool, cool. Set the timelines, please, for Virgo. Summon Rising Venus. <sighs> Set the timelines, please, for Virgo. We have the Empress in the reverse. We'll be dealing with a Taurus. Okay, let's get one more, please. Let's start the timelines, please. For oh, they gave me two. Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Okay, getting cold. Oh my gosh, my hands are like ice. So, Virgo and your expected timelines. You're getting over past pains, past hurts. You're pulling yourself up. You are getting that strength to keep pushing despite what has happened in your past. You're using that as motivation to keep going okay some of you definitely need to work on grounding yourself in the future especially if times have been a little bit rocky or you know you've been going through a lot of heavy things you do have two fives out here so you are going through a lot of changes internally externally just go with the flow and as long as you are grounded you can get through anything as long as you stay stalled within yourself and you take care of yourself you put yourself as a priority you make sure that you take that time to love and care rejuvenate get that rest you're gonna be just fine okay but some of you definitely be neglecting that self-care with the empress in reverse so if that's the case you better take some time to rest to take care of yourself to do something nice for yourself to treat yourself because you could be neglecting yourself and you may just need that that extra support that's gonna help push you the long run okay and you're definitely gonna be getting some type of resolution in some type of issue in your life or if you like you've been feeling stagnant or stuck in a repetitive cycle, I see that you're gonna break out of it. You just gotta keep working. You just gotta stay consistent. You're gonna see the results come in. Okay? Don't quit just yet. Don't give up just yet. Like it's coming, alright? Just be patient. It's like it's like you know, during winter time, I said this in who did I, I don't remember. <laughs> um, but like just think of it like this. A tree during winter time, they have no leaves and they don't grow. There's no blooming. It's just like they just look bare, right? But actually, underneath the ground, the roots are growing and establishing and growing bigger and better. And then when spring comes around, the tree grows huge, right? So that just means even though you may not be seeing the results right away, doesn't mean that they're not coming. It's just going to take time. Good things take time, right? It's going to be worth the wait. So be patient because it's coming, all right? And there's this new beginning coming away. So if you just keep putting in the work, you don't quit and you stay consistent, you're only in the early stages. Like you're just getting started. You're just getting started. So be patient because it's going to be worth it in the end, okay? So you keep going. You keep believing in yourself. It's going to work out just fine, okay? So yeah, that's what I got for you guys. Really positive reading. I like it. I like it. And I wish you guys the best. So, <clears throat> that being said, that was your reading for March. If you got something from it, let me know down in the comments below. And I will let you guys go. Thanks for watching. Bye.